We're given the linear function f of x equals 2x, we're asked to find the slope as well as the vertical intercept and horizontal intercept. The first thing to recognize is a linear function is in slope intercept form, which is the form f of x equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the vertical intercept. So again, the given function fits the form f of x equals mx plus b. So if we wanted to, we could write the given function as f of x equals 2x plus 0. This just emphasizes that b equals 0 and m equals 2. So because b equals 0, we know the vertical intercept is 0. And because m equals 2, we know the slope is equal to 2. So let's go ahead and enter the slope is equal to 2. Now we do want the vertical intercept and horizontal intercept as an ordered pair. So let's go ahead and plot the vertical intercept. Well, 0 on the vertical axis or y-axis would be the origin, this point here. We know the origin would be the ordered pair 0 comma 0. So the vertical intercept is the ordered pair 0 comma 0 in parentheses. But also notice in this case, the origin is the only point that's also on the horizontal or x-axis, which means the origin is also the horizontal intercept. So the horizontal intercept would also be given by the ordered pair 0 comma 0. And now to graph the line, let's write the slope as a fraction. We can write 2 as a fraction as 2 over 1. Remember the slope is equal to the ratio of the rise to run, or the ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change along the line. So from this point here, because the slope is 2 over 1, the numerator of 2 tells us to go up 2 units, and the denominator of 1 tells us to go right 1 unit. So if we go up two units and write one unit, another point on the line must be this point here. And of course we can do this multiple times, up two, write one, up two, write one, and so on. But now we know the graph of f of x equals 2x must pass through these points and will look something like this. I hope you found this helpful.